Mark here for another great wisdom and knowledge five. Today, I want to touch upon the subject that a lot of people are sucked into, and that is the illusion of choice. Think for yourself. So many people are sucked into this choice, and they use red and blue an awful lot to think one side is better than the other, one choice is better than the other, and it's all nonsense. They're all part of the club. They're all part of the game, and they do not care about humanity. So let's begin. Let me show you this right here. And this is what it says, red, blue. It's all an illusion of choice. They are all part of the same club. This is so true, whether it be Coke or Pepsi, you know, red versus blue, which means Republican, Democrat. It's all part of the same club. They do not care about humanity. And when we come to the realization that we need to think for ourselves, we need to, you know, take care of ourselves, we need to stop following these parasites, following this nonsense, then we can truly live our best life. Let me pull this up. This is another great one right here. Jason Kristoff is a great person to follow, a self-sabotage coach who really breaks everything down perfectly and this one that he came out with today is just right on point. The entire world is under red versus blue mind control. People are simply obsessed with their team winning and are ignoring that everyone is losing. When you play this red versus blue, left versus right, you name it, you are automatically, you know, treating a certain kind of humanity, you know, as a certain kind of people like scum you're causing division, you're causing hate, you name it, you are judging people. And this is not how we are intended to live. You know, it's funny because I'm somebody who could care less, did not watch any NFL football. And I personally think that there's a lot of uh, scripting going on in the sport. That That's my opinion. That's my thinking from what I've seen. And if you come out with that narrative, they automatically... The, the people who are for Team Blue automatically come out and say, oh, you're a Trump supporter. And it's like, no, not political, not political. Nope, you're a Trump supporter. I'm, I'm automatically going to throw you in a camp. And it's like, does that make any sense? Who would want to live their life like that? Like being sucked into this mind, like you said, mind control. That's exactly what it was. And so those who you know, from 2020 on, or you name it, even, even before that, who were saying, hey, we stand up for freedom, we stand up for humanity, we stand up for, you know, uh, choice of people getting uh, these injections, uh, the COVID injections and such. And, but, you know, we worship Trump. We, Trump, is our, Trump is our way out. Yeah, Trump is our way out. Trump is our way out. Trump is our way out. Trump is part of the club. Biden's part of the club. They're all part of the same club. And here we go right here. I want to I want to bring this up because 5G and 6G is a big thing, you know, and it is affecting our health. And so many people who still buy into this Trump's good, Trump's good, Trump's good. Trump Trump wants 5G and even 6G wireless technology as soon as possible. As soon as possible. This is back and let's see when this article was written. This article is from February 21st, 2019. So 5G and 6G, Trump wants this. this. This is not about health. It's against health. And here we go. Here, Here's another thing too right here with the U.S. $8.8 billion pledge for Gavi, the Vaccine Alliance. And that's what Trump did when he took from the WHO, he gave the money to Bill Gates funded Gavi Vaccine Alliance. And to those who, you know, stood against taking these, you know, these so-called lethal injections, whatever they were, and even if you were somebody who took these things, saying these are the greatest things on earth, Trump promoted it left and right. He, he, he take it. He said, take it, take it, take it. 
And look at what it says right here. When he spoke at the Global Vaccine Summit, does, does that look like somebody who's for health freedom, somebody who's for, you know, uh, people being healthy? It, he's not. And to those who were obsessed with these shots and thought they were the greatest thing on earth, you listened to Donald Trump. And then you went around playing the game of, I'm going to do this to, uh, you know, I'm going to play the Trump supporters versus Biden supporters left versus right nonsense, when you could just be caring about humanity and stop with the political theater. That's what it is, it's, it's theater. And it is destructive to humanity, and it's not the way that we are called to live. There's just so much, look at this, okay? GMO foods, a big subject, you know, genetically modified foods. And one, one, one other thing about it, Trump or by whoever it is, it's all the same coin. You know, do you see them promoting organic foods? Do you see them promoting, you know, eating healthy? No, not ever. They never do that. Trump ordered simple, simpler path for genetically engineered food. Trump is for GMO foods. When it when are these people going to wake up who are playing the political left versus right, red, blue? nonsense game it's all a club they are anti-humanitarians they are against humanity so there is no reason to be sucked into to this nonsense well, let's see to check to see when this article was uh put out trump orders simpler path for genetically engineered food and i'm not surprised myself i mean you see the guy you know eating at mcdonald's all the time you see the guy obsessed with it. this is june 11th 2019 so there is just so much going on here that people just don't realize. Look at this. When it comes to, there's something called geoengineering. I'm experiencing it. Everyone's experiencing it. Where they're spraying the skies left and right. This is not a myth. This is truth. And right here it says, Trump presidency opens door for planet hacking geoengineering experiments. Right here. So he wants us to be, he wants our skies to be sprayed and he is against humanity. Once again, against humanity. But when you're playing both, when you're playing the game of theater, they're all for the same cause against humanity. That's what it is. Okay. So look at this one right here. Trump signed a bill that gives millions to the U.S. agency in charge of climate and weather science. See, th this rabbit hole just goes on and on. And I don't care if it's Trump. I don't care if it's Biden. I don't care who it is, Trudeau, and, uh, you know, other leaders, other countries. It is all the same thing. And look at this one. The U.S. government approved funds for geoengineering research. There is no reason for them to be playing this geoengineering, this spraying these chemtrails, doing these lethal things. And all of these politicians are in on it. They are obsessed with it. They are anti, they are against health. They do not care about your health whatsoever. And there is other ones too. OK, remember back when uh, Coca-Cola, they came out with this thing because the Coke versus Pepsi, that's a red and blue thing, too. Right. Well, and both of them, in my opinion, you know, so sodas in general, in my opinion, are, you know, toxic. I would not I would not drink them myself. They, in my opinion, they're 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 lethal. But. That's beside the point right here, they. They had some, uh, you know, training, Coca-Cola did, and it said in their training, be less white. So uh, Trump comes out and says, hey, we need to boycott Coke. You know, you need to drink Pepsi. So look at this. This is an article from Business Insider, April 5th, 2021. So after after Trump comes out and does, does this, there is a picture of him still drinking a Coke. So he's telling you to do one thing, doing another. And Coca-Pepsi, hey, 
don't play into that game. Don't you, if, if you want to do that, that's on you, you know, but it says right here, a breakdown of what's in Trump's new office, including a nearly hidden bottle that suggests he's drinking Coke despite calling for a boycott. Now let's see if we can find the, uh, picture of him drinking a Coke. It's uh, down here someplace. Let's see, right there. There it is. Let's see if we can pull it up a little bit bigger. Right there. There's the Coke. There's the Coke. It is so obvious. And it gets even further because people are like, oh, you know, well, uh, Trump is against the World Economic Forum. He's against, you know, Klaus Schwab. He came out, thank you, Klaus, thank you, Klaus. And I'm not trying to do a good impression of Trump anyways. These are all parasites. As right here, New York Times article, and it said, is from 2018. A sober Trump reassures Davos lead, standing on, you know, at the World Economic Forum with Klaus Schwab. Uh, you know, one of the power you know, powers that be that is totally against humanity, eat the bugs, take the shots, do the things, you name it. And he's right there with them. And no, no, no. Yes, yes, yes. When you play into the political charade, the nonsense, whatever you want to call it, you are taking a part in destroying humanity. So what is... The solution. What is the solution to think for your? The solution is to think for yourself, to be proactive. And there are a lot of people out there who have caught on to what is really going on and says, "No, I'm not. I'm not taking part in that." Think about. Think if everyone just stopped voting, stopped worshiping these politicians that are dividing people, because because that's all. That's all it is. It's a theater to divide and conquer people, if they just thought for themselves and said, hey, I'm going to care about all of humanity. I'm not going to divide people. I'm not going to pl play this division game. I'm not going to do that. Then how much greater would this world be? It'd be a lot better. So in making you know, this week's episode, I just want to encourage people to think for yourself don't fall for the illusion of choice. You have your own choice to think for yourself. That's what you have. But not this game of, I'm going to worship a you know, political parasite. I'm going to worship these dinosaurs who are older than can be. And that, that's beside the point. But they, 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 you know, when they are speaking, they're speaking to destroy humanity. They're speaking against humanity. And it's not what this world needs. Not at all. You know, they do not need this. They are all part of the same club, part of the same coin. It is all the same. And if you enjoyed this video, uh, this, you know, uh, episode, be sure to subscribe. Be sure to look for uh, more great episodes. I've had a busy week, so uh, I just came on myself, made this hard-hitting, impacting you know, uh, episode this week because I knew that it would be such a great topic to discuss. I will be having more great guests starting next week. And just be sure to subscribe. Wisdom and Knowledge 5 is uh, the podcast and it is on Spotify, YouTube, BitChute, and Rumble. And we are just all about, you know, standing for humanity not only standing for humanity but being able to think for yourself and we bring on just a wide variety of guests on topics that whether it be affecting our health standing for freedom like real freedom not this you know farce of a freedom that these political parasites are pushing but true freedom and thanks so much for tuning in to this week's episode be sure to comment like crazy, subscribe,
you know, even if you didn't enjoy this, comment. Love your feedback. Thanks so much. Take care.